Hello there, in today's quick video we're going to be looking at the Outrunners for both Horde and Alliance. The Alliance Outrunners can be found in the Southern Barrens, and the Horde Outrunners can be found on the eastern shore of Loch Medan. Both are pretty different sets of mobs and each have their own little rewards, so I'm going to go through them in detail including patrol paths and drops. So up first we have the Horde Outrunners on the eastern shore of Loch Modan. The Horde Outrunners comprise of three elites, two level 20 elites and one level 21 elite. The two orcs are called Thragom and Gradog. Thragom is the one that actually drops the green orcish cleaver, I'll get to that in a moment. And then the third elite is Haran Swifttooth, the Tauren. He's a 21 elite. One thing to be aware of is that both of the orcs are set to follow Haran Swifttooth. This means that if you do want to try and solo this, and I wouldn't advise doing it unless you're something like a rogue, is if you are like a rogue for example you can sap the orcs and because they are the ones following Harin, the others won't stop they'll keep walking if you sap Harin, the other two orcs will stop because they're set to follow him so what you can actually do is you can pick the orcs off separately which is really really useful if you're not a rogue i don't know if you could do this solo i'd probably take a couple of friends gradic doesn't actually have any loot which is a real shame but here as you'll see Luton Haran Swifttooth, he has a 100% chance to drop the Bashing Pauldrons. I actually really like these because even though they're white, it's one of the few asymmetrical shoulders in the game, like Kerod's shoulder for example only shows on one, and this one here has a actual size difference between the shoulders, and I, I can't actually think of any off the top of my head that are the same as Bashing Pauldrons. Level 15 as well, so it's the lowest level you can get where the shoulders are, and these are common items, which for a level 15 shoulder is pretty good. Now, the real reason you want to kill these guys is for the Orcish Cleaver, the level 16 main-handed axe that drops off Thagram. This has an 80% drop chance, and overall it's pretty good. I'd say that the one strength isn't doesn't make it as strong as some other weapons in this bracket, but it's definitely worth picking up. As for respawn time on these guys, it's looking to maybe be a couple of hours. The area is quite popular though, so expect them to be killed pretty soon after they arrive. So up next we have the Alliance Outrunners, a group of three to four elite Alliance mobs that roam all the way up to the dividing line between North and South, near Mancrick's line. If you've seen one of my previous videos you'll know where that is. These guys are really punishing to fight, you definitely cannot do this solo, I just wouldn't recommend it at all, they really really hurt. You'll see here on my shaman obviously I took an absolute beating. Ian Swift River is the one that actually drops the quest item, so they don't really drop anything else, no unique items and things like that, aside from this rune scroll which has a 100% drop chance. Accepting the quest that the rune scroll gives you will actually send you up to the Morshan Ramparts in between the Barrens and Ashenvale, and there you'll have to complete another quest which I'm going to show you now. Okay, so when you get to the Morshan Rampart, you're going to be looking for a guy called Kadrak. Kadrak is the one that gives you some other quests to go into Ashenvale when you first leave the Barrens, and he's the one you want to talk to. He has two items that he gives you for this quest, and I will just show you those on the screen at the end as well. Um, they're both pretty good rewards, so I wouldn't worry about that at all. So here's an interesting bit of information. Kadrak will give you Kadrak's flag when you accept this quest. Now this flag is literally not used for anything. It's not part of the quest. It doesn't help you do something else. It is a completely useless item that you are given, and you can't even use. So you can just remove it from your inventory entirely, it's not needed. Okay, so once you've accepted the quest you want to make your way to Stone Talon Mountains, up to Stone Talon Peak and into the Talon Den. You're looking for Rintheriel the Keymaster, she's kind of just down from the main entrance so you don't have to fight too many elites, but just to make you aware these are all really hard hitting elites between level 26 to 31. All you need to kill her, again you can't use the flag for anything, you just kill her and the quest is completed. Once you get back to Kadrak, just hand in the quest for your quest rewards. I'm showing them on the screen now so you can get a good look at them. Overall they're pretty good, I'm not sure the cloth hands are quite to my taste of being strength and intellect, but yeah, they're both not bad. And um, the quest also gives you a fair bit of XP as well, so to say you got this from a rare in the Barrens, this is a really nice boost of XP, it's a nice item to get. Overall it's just a really nice thing to do, so if they're in the area, please do consider killing the Outrunners, it's definitely worth doing, and you actually have a reason to go to Stone Talon now. Thanks so much for watching this video, I know it's not like my normal ones, I do have another rare video coming out in a couple of days, and that's going to be Stone Talon Mountains, Joy of Joys. If you did like this video, please do leave me a comment and let me know, and if you want to see more like this in the future, subscribe to the channel.